everybody this is norm back here again with you and i wanted to talk to you a bit today about a um an interesting problem that comes up um quite often that i, that I see and what i think is a, a a practical solution to this problem and i want to talk about it it's called netbooks um these are not little laptops that are basically l limited in the amount of horsepower uh, that, that they have. They're limited in memory and storage capacity, um, processing power, and, and things like that. And they're made to be, you know, the sub $200 category. Basically, this is a, um, uh, it's a competitor to the, uh, to, uh, to an iPad or a competitor to a tablet. Uh, and, and that's the target market for this. So somebody who might not need a thousand dollar laptop and they may not necessarily be ready to jump in and go full on with a, uh, a an iPad uh, or a Galaxy Note or something like that. That's, you know, four or five hundred dollars. But a two hundred dollar netbook that basically allows them to get on the Internet uh, and use a web browser and maybe some limited um limited functionality for uh for browsing or, or you know there's some apps that can get installed that's the target market that this is sold to and it's a good concept but unfortunately the ones that come with microsoft windows and i'm sorry for <laughs> all the uh, background noise today i'm here at the um, amish market um and i'm just doing this on the cuff so there's gonna be lots of lots of noise behind me but uh, so unfortunately the ones that come with Microsoft Windows um, they come with the, with the with the RAM or the amount of available memory and the and the storage capacity all in one and it's very small it's uh, usually 32 gigabytes and the problem that you run into that with with a 32 gigabyte one is that when you load the Windows op uh, Windows 10 operating system onto it um, that in and of itself takes up roughly you know 25 or 26 gigabytes worth of storage or worth of space so then you you don't have much left after that see you Bob <laughs> so after that you, you only have um, a, a small a area to to um, to store uh, or to add to storage space and then when Windows kicks in to do its first update um, it doesn't have enough storage available storage capacity to actually apply the update and I'll show you what I'm talking about so in this case this is a Windows 10 uh, uh, Dell uh, <laughs> A, a uh, Dell Inspiron netbook. Uh, it's a nice one. It, I mean, it, you know, I can't complain about this. But if you'll notice here, it says it cannot install um, Windows updates now. Trying to get this in camera here. Can't install updates. And I'll show you the reason why. Like I was telling you just a minute ago, if you'll notice, uh, if I can get it up here. There we go. Right there. I don't know if that's going to bring it in good enough, but and focus in on it. But that red line there, that is the C partition, and it the total the the total available space on this is 27.3 gigabytes, and it's already used up. Um, and, and there's only two gigabytes of free space left. Now, truth be told, and I'm going to show you in just a second, is that this um <laughs> I'm gonna pop the bottom off here and show you what I'm talking about this particular notebook it is all in one so you can't see it here but this right here that I'm pointing to that's your RAM and your hard drive uh, so this is soldered onto the board and cannot be changed so what does that mean that means that this thing is basically a boat anchor um, unless something is done about it now what do I think uh, uh, what what am I going to do about this 
I am going to install Ubuntu on it. Uh, Ubuntu Linux, um, for the person that uses this, he, he basically, all he does is get on the internet with it, and that's all he really needs it for. Well, I can't think of any better operating system to, to use than Ubuntu Linux. So, that being said, I'm going to pause the camera, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to show you the difference um, of what, the difference uh, uh, of between Microsoft Windows and Ubuntu on a limited device like this. This thing's going to run just great, and it's going to have plenty of storage capacity. Right, so and I think I it, it's going to shock installing you Ubuntu as on well. Here. Um, this the, is Ubuntu, um, Ubuntu 19.04, and here is the finished product. And I think you're going to be amazed to see what it is. Let's see, there it is. Uh, you see that? That says for the hard drive space there's 23 gigabytes available so he went from having only two gigabytes of, uh, available with just the base Microsoft Windows 10 install to 23 gigabytes available uh, which is more than what he'll need uh, the, the person that, that uses this that's more capacity than he'll actually need um, probably for the rest of his natural life because he just simply uses it to get on the internet and you know occasionally pay some bills uh, do some banking that's about it um, that is a noticeable a drastic difference but the reason why I'm making this video is because I know there's some people out there that have these netbooks that that bought the um, the HP blue blue books that because I've I've seen you guys come to me before and and if you were ever needed to uh, and you wanted to still use that book you know netbook because it suits your purposes you might want to consider installing yourself or having me like I did with this one here installing Ubuntu on it and uh, using it as a netbook and you know I've got a full office suite on here and all that other stuff um, it's gonna run a little bit slower than a regular desktop but you know for what most people need just running the browser well, they're not going to notice a, a, a bit of a difference so with that in mind uh, you know I'm here come on by um, and we'll get you uh, get you up and going with uh, the latest version of Ubuntu whichever it may be presently 19.04 um, and I think you'll enjoy that experience on your netbook thanks for watching